Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. We've taken care of Braintree using the Sword of Obedience. Now we just need to find a way out of... I think this is called the Apartment World? Or Building World or something like that? Something of that sort. It's where all those ape-like creatures are. So, yeah, gotta find a way out. Um, we just got this shovel, new weapon, which I'm really excited to use. I tested it out in the last episode. It seems pretty good in most ways, probably better than the axe. Also found a golf club. Heck yeah. We also found some cake candles. And we still have this billiard ball as well. Probably gonna be used to help us get out of here <laughs> somehow, I guess. Yeah, that map is kind of useless for in here. It's so tiny and blurry. But we came from here. So we got that door there. And this door over here. Ooh, another candle. Heck yeah. Hmm, I should probably go back and dump off some stuff, actually. Oh, the place is apparently called Building World. I think this this place, the apartment complex, is called Apartment World. Yeah, the other one's Building World. And we have a note. Continuing from yesterday, I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. Naturally, it was a long way for a kid his age to travel, but he made the trip every week by subway or bus. Unfortunately, Someone else was living in this apartment, and so he couldn't be reunited with his mother. Room 302. Yeah, again, reminder, one of these notes a little while ago said that at some point Walter Sullivan started to believe that the room itself was their mother. For years, he continued to come here, almost like he was possessed, just to peek into the apartment. Eventually, the tenants began to complain and treat him badly when they saw him hanging around. Walter began to fear the tenants and see them as obstacles preventing him from seeing his mother. As the years passed and Walter matured, he began to be more and more influenced by the teachings of the cult. Furthermore, his obsession with his mother and his feelings of resentment towards the outer world became even deeper. Walter became preoccupied with one particular tract from the cult's Bible, The Descent of the Holy Mother, the Twenty-One Sacraments. By the twenty-one sacraments, the Holy Mother shall appear in the countries of the world and shall bring salvation to the sinful ones. After Walter left Wish House, he moved to Pleasant River, a town neighboring Silent Hill. For a while, he lived the life of a normal student, but he was still filled with bitterness and resentment towards the rest of the world. Several years later, he launched his plan there, the Twenty-One Murders. July 29th. I never really thought about it, but it does make sense that they would become bitter towards the other tenants. Not just the tenant living inside of the room where they need to go to see their mother. The room that is their mother. But they became bitter about everybody in the entire apartment building. Because everybody, after seeing him for years, creeping around and being troublesome and disturbing, just hated him, probably called the cops when they saw him and stuff like that. So Walter saw everybody in the building as their enemy. Think this is the next place to go? Yes. Can't wait to test out this shovel. I remember that noise from last time I was here. Never did see what it was attached to, though. I love that it sounds like it's coming from where I'm facing right here, but you can't move the camera to look. So it's like there's something there, probably, but you can't see it. Oh right, the animal store. Except I hear animals when I'm pretty sure I shouldn't. 
Wait, can I read this? Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't have anything to stop it. That was a weird one. I saw just like... Nutrition drink, yes. I just saw like, blade footprints on the ground. I didn't actually see the ghost itself. Ah. Yeah, get him, Eileen. That's... Ah! Fuck off! Alright, they'll stay down for like, half a second. That's great. It looks like I'm supposed to do something with this. Looks like a cage for a dog or cat. Oh... I think we need to recreate a bunch of things. Um, here it is. Reminisces. Reminis reminisces? Is that even a word? I want to go back to that time. Things were good then. The day of my birthday. That must be what the candles are for. The cute cat in the pet store. Okay, so I need something for that. Balls in the basket. Uh, the cue ball. Maybe. Playing pool was fun too. Or maybe not. Door of time was wide open. So yeah, I gotta like recreate those things. I haven't found a cat, though, to put in here. Nor have I found any of the other things. Where do I go from here? God, this ghost is fast. Fuck off. Oh, I didn't... Ah, damn it, Eileen, come on. Keep up. This is so weird. This is totally messing with my head. Bless you. Up, down. Yeah, the, um... The camera relative movement still works. The perspective is totally messed up, but like the movement actually behaves the same way. That doesn't make it easy to navigate, it still hurts my brain. Ah, oh, fuck. I find myself trying to like uh, picture it the right side up, which I think just makes it worse, maybe? Oh my god. This is really cool, though. That looks so weird. It's <sighs> a lot of pistol rounds. Wait a sec. Wait, no, now it's reversed? Now I'm pressing right on this stick and it's making my character go left. Up is making them go... F I, I don't understand anymore. Does it just depend on the angle? I'm super confused now. Uh. Upside down clock. The hands aren't moving. The doorknob is rusted shut and I can't get it open. Hmm. That might be my end goal, because that reminisces note mentioned wanting to go back to the better time. So maybe once everything else is done, it will be the better time. Is there anything in this room? 
Where have I been and where have I not been? I have no idea. It shows opposite where I am is a locked door, which I think is the clock, so yeah, the clock is a door. That's where we came from. Anything over here? Can I go down to the couch? There's like a whole normal world, or right side up world below us. The design for that place is really cool. Okay, so I've obviously missed something big. Maybe some way that I can go in the elevators, because I don't think I fully explored the whole... all the elevator levels. Might be something there. It's obviously... A, wah, I forgot about you! There's obviously a lot of stuff that we're missing. Like, I haven't found anywhere to use the, um, the candles, the pool ball, nothing like that. I haven't found a cat. Eileen's not going to come with me, are they? Come on. Come on, Eileen. I think one of the things I missed is over here right next to the sports shop. I went into here, but I didn't realize that there's actually a door. Yeah, where does this go? the only door in that hallway? Yeah, it looks like it. This map is really hard to read for me. Super small and blurry and jumbled. Oh, that didn't sound good. There's leeches somewhere. Ooh. Fucking ghost. What the hell is this? I think that actually might have been there last time. Surprisingly enough. Oh, it's you! That's the same person! I was in the pet shop. Nice. Like, where should I go here? Should I keep going up? Can I keep going up? I think there's something in the way. Me too, there's a ghost touching me. For the love of God, stop bumping your head into my butt. Oh, oh my God. Oh. This is a weird place for a stuffed animal. Oh, it's stuffed. That's probably for the best, really. Heck yeah, I'll take the stuffed cat. Stuffed cat with droopy ears. The books in this bookshelf look particularly interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I had my medallion, I guess. There's like, I have one medallion, but it's super close to broken back in the apartment. So low that I just stuffed it away because I didn't think it'd be very useful. So I guess that wouldn't be terribly useful. Oh, right. Oh, the birthday party thing. Yeah. Okay. This is where I bought the candles. Can't use this here. Well, get... You put the cake candles on the birthday cake. Okay. Sweet. Even lit them, too. Very considerate. I'm gonna take my med kit and let's go get Eileen. I think there's apes here. Where'd the ghost go? Huh. Oh, you're not an ape.
hear another one. They must be upstairs. Charge attack was powerful. This is near where I first came into this world the first time. Oh, another candle. Heck yeah. I have enough candles to like totally cure my apartment if I wanted to. Ooh, is that revolver ammo? Revolver bullets. I feel pretty kitted out with stuff. Maybe not healing stuff, but everything else, yeah. No! My leg hurts. Sorry. Is that a golf club? I think I see a golf club. Heck yeah! What do we got this time? Club driver. Nice. I'm gonna treat myself. It's only in my bedroom. It's not that big of a deal, but I still want to get rid of it. Nope. Babies are back. Well, it's a good thing I got a couple more candles. Okay, one major thing I missed is over here. I started to go here at the very beginning of this place. And then I stopped because I wasn't able to take Eileen with me. We're back near the elevator area. Back on the bottom floor. I went down the ladder, through the hallway, and then up a ladder. Takes me over here, and there's all these doors that I haven't tried. Haven't gone this way. Sorry to leave Eileen behind, but I think I literally have to. I don't think there's any way to have him come with me here. door back there. Damn you. God, they're so fast to attack. Ghost won't follow me here, I think. I remember I killed an ape that was in front of this door that was holding one of the uh, drivers. One of the golf clubs. Are those wheelchairs? Are those the possessed wheelchairs again? Yep. <laughs> Gotta see if there's anything out here on the floor. Let's go on the dance floor. 
God, they do some damage. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, fuck. Don't kill me, wheelchairs. <laughs> Please. Oh. Wow. A lot of damage. Okay. No healing items. Okay. Ooh. Another candle. I've got a lot of holy candles now. Right, the garbage room. Oh yeah, here. Oh, right. This is where the pool table is. Okay. Put the billiard ball on the pool table. That's it, right? I don't need to, like, play pool. It's a billiard table. The balls are here, too. So I definitely did have to come here. There's a memo. Is that one I've read before? The boss said we had to change our phone number because of all the complaints about the weird noises. Now we have to change the store sign on the roof. What a pain. By the way, the number is the last four digits of the new phone number. Not too smart, if you ask me. So this is a new one, isn't it? This is from... Like, while I've been here, they've changed the number. Because of the weird noises, so I guess... When I call that place, it's not just me that hears weird noises, I guess it's everybody. Uh, so, wait. Now I have to change the store sign on the roof. So the sign isn't changed yet. So then, how do I tell the new phone number? Hmm. I mean, maybe if I go back to the apartment, it will already have been changed. The phone number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. The new number is 555-4890. Yeah, I saw that the sign hadn't changed, so I thought calling it might give me something, and it did. 4890. Also, I'm actually seriously running low on healing items at this point. Um, I think I just have this medkit here, and then an ampule back at home, and that's it. And I have a lot of ammo, I have like 70 plus pistol rounds and like 16 or something plus whatever's already loaded in the gun for the revolver so I'm gonna start like really shooting more a wall must have collapsed from above I think I can make it through oh okay well I mean I'm definitely I'm definitely not gonna use a gun against flies <laughs> walls in the way I can't get through okay god you know what I've left Eileen alone for so long but I have to I have to there's no way around this I cannot take them with me right this is the huge stairwell where I was being chased by ghosts up it do I have to go down the entire thing again <laughs> at least there's no ghosts flies are easy to deal with seem to hit you really easily if you're running, but if you don't move, you're kinda okay. 
As long as you don't wait too long before you hit him. Nasty noises. The hell happened down here? Oh, it's a medical kit. I thought it was a note. Sweet. I can't just leave Eileen all alone. Wait. No. This is where I'm supposed to go to, like, leave leave? Shit. Okay, so I'm still missing something. I mean, obviously... Wh what am I missing, actually? I have the cat on me. I know where to put that. Okay, here's the volleyball. Yeah, I checked the note, so I have the cat, I just need to place it in the pet store. But it also mentioned a volleyball, or, well, just balls in a cage. So I knew I needed to find a ball. And apparently it's right here, I actually stumbled across it by accident. I had some idea where it might be, but it wasn't here. Yeah, right there, I totally missed that. So I probably put the volleyball here. Back with all its friends. It's filled with volleyballs. I'm not sure where your definition of filled is, Henry. It's like one-fifth full. Okay, here's the pet store. Before the ghost comes. There we go. I can hear the sound of a clock from somewhere. Oh, that's a cool little hint. Just in the whole area, just permeates the space. Now the hard part is going to be remembering where to go from here to the clock. I think it's close. Yeah, I think it's just in here. I can hear it. Oh, hey, we're right side up now. But the room is kind of wrong side up. That's ah, so weird. What? Oh, there's literally a door behind it. I didn't even notice that. It's so weird there's an open door over there, but you can't get to it. That goes nowhere. There's so many doors. Oh, they got clubs. Oh. 
Oh, damn, that hurt. What the? Oh, uh, cool. I do want the eight iron, but I wanted to stomp the dog. Shit! Eileen, I need help. Help me. Damn it! All I did was hit Eileen. Sorry. Didn't do a very good job at avoiding damage, huh? That is a lot of golf clubs, though. Makes me very happy. My collection didn't grow at all for a long time, and now suddenly here I've gotten... I've gotten four golf clubs here. Wait, is that another one? Oh my god, I've gotten five golf clubs here! Damn. Yeah, these three here, and then there was one in the shop, and then there was one... That one place where I went all the way back to where I started this level the very first time I came here. There's another one! They all had golf clubs. It's a sand wedge. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't even know how many golf clubs there are in a normal set. I need to check. Maybe I have them all. Health drink. I might have slightly wasted that. I thought I was more hurt. That's fine. I have no idea where this is taking us. Maybe it's just a way to get Eileen to that place where I was before. That I, it was impossible to get her there before. Maybe it's going to lead there. The door at the bottom of that large staircase. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay, well, let me just run back down there. Okay, keep in mind, I know nothing about golf, but I just looked up common um, common golf clubs to have for golf. And according to this site, pinemeadowgolf.com, it's like lesson one, the basics, talking about what a typical modern set of golf clubs consist of. Um, well, before the actual types of golf clubs, or actually after the types of golf clubs that it normally consists of, it says it gives you a total of 12 clubs, and it says the rules of golf allow you to carry 14 clubs in your bag. So like 12, the clubs are considered necessary, and you can have 14 at max, technically, if you want a couple like hybrid um, golf clubs, it says. But I have 12 golf clubs, so that's a standard set, I think. Now, the types of the clubs here don't entirely match this list, or maybe they're just named different things. But this one says, typically consists of three woods, the one driver, three and five. So this one's just called a driver, so I guess that's the wood driver or whatever. This is a three wood. I don't have a five wood though. However, when it comes to the irons, it says, there's usually at least one hybrid iron, a 3H. This one just says three. Maybe this is supposed to be the hybrid or something. I don't know. And then just um, this, just the straight irons are four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which are here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
and then it also says PW, which I think must be the pitching wedge. Yeah. And then after it, it just says a putter. And we do have that here. There's a putter, but we also have a sand wedge. So it's hard to say exactly because it's not like... It doesn't seem like there is a exact specific collection of clubs that uh, necessarily make up a standard set, but I think that sounds like a standard set. I think I got them all. All right. Let's see if this takes us to the downward spiral. Oh. Well, I was expecting the downward spiral. Looks like we have a boss fight? Maybe? Uh. There's a message carved into the door. To reach the deepest part, you must defeat the one truth. Do so and this door will open. So there's a special one of these enemies, isn't there? Okay, what's different about it? What's the special one? These all, these all look the same. Okay, I have an idea. I don't think I need to use the gun. In fact, I don't think the gun is particularly usable in this case. Um, I went around and I tried to beat some of them with a shovel and it actually worked pretty well. I found a technique that keeps me relatively safe. And I actually quote unquote killed a couple of them. If you sort of take them out to the point where they do the same thing the smaller versions of them do that came out of the wall where they like flop down and they go limp, but then they come back up after a little bit. They do that sort of thing, except they stay down for maybe like 10, 20 seconds and then their plate retracts as if trying to get them out of there. And it creates a safe zone for a little bit because it won't come back down until that enemy kind of regenerates. So I think I'm going to do that and just kill them all and see which one behaves differently. Because they don't seem to look different on the face of them, so maybe they react differently when you kill them. I don't know. But let's go for it. Whoops. Yeah, see, so that one's dead. You see it with his hand sticking out? So I've killed these two and they didn't seem to do anything. So I'm just gonna go along and just kill them as they come. Whoa, whoa, that one's different. Is that the different one? It didn't come down all the way. Maybe not. Maybe we just weren't close enough. Good thing is, there's not that many of them. This is working pretty well. Just gotta be patient. Oof. Damn. At least they don't do all that much damage. Haven't noticed anything different yet. But we're not through them all. What happened to this one? There you are. I'm just gonna pry the door real fast. Oh, 
also didn't seem any different. Hey, wait, that one didn't die in one hit. That's the special one, isn't it? Yeah, that must be the special one. I got you. I got you on camera. Definitely the special one. Come back here. Ow. Damn. Killing like everybody in the wall. Alright, I need to use my ampule. That's literally my last healing item. You coming back down? Wait, did we kill him? Nope. Oh, I see it affects- Oh, it's not that it's like hitting the entire wall, it's that whatever happens to that one happens to all of them. Ah. Ah. Again, I literally have no healing items. Not just on me, but even at home. Now we're here. Jesus Christ, it's getting dark. Has the blood normally led to the hole? Hmm. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Also, by the way, I can't help but notice below me that the end there doesn't lead to a door. It leads to the ground. Maybe that's the deepest part of him. Maybe we're almost there. Maybe they're at my apartment. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think we might fight Walter. <laughs> <laughs>